как дать пацана посчитать потери Суммы нули погибают на сцене Снова один прогуляюсь без тени Заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее э, э, как там рад Правда назад, на черный каскад Вижу твой взгляд, стель на гаяр Не мог тебя взять, но ты не моя Так дать пацана посчитать потери Суммы нули погибают на сцене Снова один прогуляюсь без тени Заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее э, э, как там Правда назад, черный каскад Вижу твой взгляд, степь на гаяр Не мог тебя взять, но ты не моя Эти понты покупались во рту, твои мозги затупились к утру. Так дайте пацанам посчитать потери, суммы нули погибают на сцене. Снова один прогуляюсь без тени, заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее. Э, э, как там рад, правда назад, черный каскад. Вижу твой взгляд, стерн на гаяк, мог тебя взять, но ты не моя. Так дайте пацанам посчитать потери, суммы нули на сцене. Снова один прогуляюсь без тени Заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее Э, э, как там рад Правда назад, черный каскад Вижу твой взгляд, степь на гаяк Мог тебя взять, но ты не моя Так дайте пацана посчитать потери Суммы нули погибают на сцене Снова один прогуляюсь без тени Заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее Э, э, как там рад Правда назад, черный каскад Вижу твой взгляд, степь на гаяр Не мог тебя взять, но ты не моя Так дайте пацана посчитать потери Суммы нули погибают на сцене Снова один прогуляюсь без тени Заливаю лит, поцелуй на шее Э, э, как там рад Правда назад Черный каскад, вижу твой взгляд, степь на гаяр Не мог тебя взять, но ты не моя And, you know, I have very, you know, I, I have fairly strong political views, as some of you may have noticed. No. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, which brings me back to to this kind of thing. This anti-communist propaganda cartoon, Make Mine Freedom from 1948. America is many things to many people. To a 17-year-old kid, it's the malt shop on the corner. To Grandpa, it's the front porch in the cool of the evening. To Mother and her family, it's church on Sunday morning. And to Dad, it's his favorite relaxation. It's the Cracker Barrel philosophers in Crabtree Corners. And it's the tycoons in Wall Street. It's all races, creeds, and religions. It's freedom to work at the job you like. Freedom of speech and to peaceably assemble. Freedom to own property. Security from unlawful search or seizure. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? The right to a speedy and public trial. 
Protection against cruel punishments and excessive fines. The right to vote and to worship God in your own way. It is these freedoms that have made America strong. Okay, okay, so we got our freedom. But management's lousing up everything. Labor is at fault. It's ruining the country. My constituents, as your elected representative, I can assure you labor's right. Management's right. I'm strictly neutral. Labor, management, politicians, fooey. Uh, they can't tell corn from oats. The weather perfect every day. And now then, because we are introducing this amazing item for the first time in this country, it isn't going to cost you one cent. All you have to do is sign this little scrap of paper and you get your bottle absolutely free. I hereby turn over to Ism Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom and the freedom of my children and my children's children, in return for which said ism promises to take care of me forever. Pardon me. Pardon me. And who are you, my good man? I'm John Q. Public. Ah, my fine friend, you're just in time to share this generous and gigantic offer. Sign right here. Mind if I read it first? Hurry up! Don't here. bother to me. Oh, no, yes, I don't want to be here first. Oh, no, Keep it. your shirts on, boys. No, including my freedom. Freedom? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. Don't be corny, brother. <laughs> sure, our system of free enterprise isn't perfect. But before we throw it away for some imported double talk, let's turn the clock back a few years to see what it's done for us. For example, back in the 1890s, Joe Dopes was just a guy who liked to tinker around his barn. Some people thought Joe was lazy. Some even thought he was nuts. But one day, he had an idea. And because he was free to dream and scream and tinker, Joe had a chance to make something of himself and his idea. So... Of course, some people didn't think so much of Joe's idea. But that didn't stop him. So Joe got some money from young Aunt Minnie and Uncle Angus and Grandpappy and Mr. Titus. When Joe's friends and relatives used their savings to help him buy tools and property, they were capitalists. Don't blush, folks. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, naturally, Joe needed some help. So he hired Willie Lumpkin, who was out of work anyway. And before long, Willie had the know-how and became skilled labor. Because capital, management, and labor worked together, Joe's idea grew. It grew and did things even he never dreamed of. Today, the automobile industry provides millions of jobs that never existed before. And remember, this is a story of only one industry. There are thousands more scattered all over the United States whose history of development is pretty much the same. We've built a country under the American system that sends more young people to high school and college than all the rest of the world combined. Why, even in the Depression, our wages bought more food, clothing, travel, and entertainment than the wages of any other people in the world. Our country has a national income equal to the total national incomes of any other six nation of the world. With only 7% of the Earth's... We drive 70% of the world's automobiles. That's just a sample of the things the capitalistic system has given us in only 160 years. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of Doctorism's formula. 
to see what you'd get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead. Try it. You can't do this to me! I'll strike! The state forbids strikes. Wait till the union hears about this! Ah, yes, the union. Welcome to our ranks, number 1313. I'll take this case to the Supreme Court. The state is the Supreme Court. Our decision is as follows. No more private property. No more you. Well, the farm folk will put a stop to this. Farmers don't vote anymore. Uh, what'll I do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. We must fight to regain our freedom, or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. 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 When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. And we know what to do about it. And now, gentlemen, no violence, please. And don't throw those bottles. Don't throw those bottles. No, 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 no. Working together to produce an ever greater abundance of material and spiritual values for all. That is the secret of American prosperity. So, I watched that when I was a kid, I'm sure. I, I, I must, I, I'm sure I've seen that, you know, as a kid. So, did, did that just twist my brain? Is that why I think that it still makes sense? I can't hear you. Your mic is muted. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just going to say, no one... No one does propaganda quite the way the Americans did back in the day. Those old American propaganda films are so beautifully produced, you know, and so persuasive, and they influenced generations of Americans. I, I went to public school in the early 70s, like elementary school, and they were still showing those films from the 40s, 50s, and 60s in our school assemblies and in our classrooms and i guess you could call that indoctrination brainwashing into the capitalist system but that's what we were taught that's it but if it's truth is that propaganda and it, and how, and then how do we know that it's truth when and i watch that and truth. they they start to describe what ism is or communism right when i look at what they're pointing to as warning signs or what would happen. And I look at what's going on in our society right now. You're not going to own property. You'll own nothing and you'll like it. They're throwing political prisoners in jail. The state is the final word. Doesn't really matter because they, they control the courts. Look at what the justice system is doing right now to, you know, with, with Trump. Right. Locking up the opposition. Mm-hmm. Yep. You go right down that list and they've done everything. They're doing it all right now. So is that is that film, was that truth or was that propaganda? Or maybe it's a little of both. But how do you know? When you've been exposed to that from a young age, you, be, you believe things for reasons. But how do I know? How, how maybe, maybe I'm the one who's indoctrinated. And then maybe, maybe Justin Trudeau really has been arrested. And, and I'm the nuts. I'm the one who's nuts. Well, you know, if we're honest, uh, people of our age, we're Gen Xers, you know, 
um, we grew up in the late Cold War period, but we were indoctrinated. Make no mistake about it. This is what we were taught in by our government, by our media and our public schools. You know, this was what we were taught it meant to be a proud, patriotic, good American. And we do have to bear in mind, though, that we were in a Cold War against communism around the world at that time. Yeah. So whatever good qualities there may be about communism, you're certainly not going to hear it from the United States government during the Cold War. Mm -hmm. You're never going to hear that side of the story unless you watch Russian films or Chinese films. Or as I've, I learned as a journalist over the years, there's no black and white. There is, you know, it's, it's always shades of gray. That's why when I look at Russia today, I think in many ways, Russia is freer than we are here in Canada and the U.S. Isn't that weird? It is weird. As a Cold War kid, isn't that weird? Yep. When you watch Russian television, you get more truth from RT than you do mm -hmm. from your American press. When you, I, I watch a lot of, uh, you know, just various reports from Russia every, every day. It's part of my job as a journalist. And what I take note of is I look at, when I see a reporter on the street, like in the streets of Moscow or St. Petersburg, for example, look behind them, look at what's going on. You see people going about their day. You don't see anybody walking down the street dressed in their pajamas, for one thing. You don't see people walking down the street with various body parts hanging out of their clothing. People take pride in their appearance, like Americans used to do. You know, people kind of dress up when they go out. They look nice walking down the street. The yeah. streets are clean, sparkling clean. You don't mm -hmm. see trash. You don't see needles. You don't see poop. You know, you don't see tents of homeless people like you do in the States. You don't see random crazy people on the corner screaming obscenities at passersby like you do in the States. It's... It's something that you can't miss if you're an American of a certain age and you're old enough to remember a time in this country when our streets were clean, when we didn't have tent cities on every major, you know, under every major bridge, when we didn't have this kind of out of control drug problem, we didn't have this kind of mental illness problem. You have to be pretty old to remember all that, to remember. I look at Russia today, and it reminds me a lot of what the states were like, say, 40 years ago, back in the 80s, if you remember the Reagan years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, well, I remember. Yeah, different times. When I grew up, we never locked our door. Uh, never had to. Never had to. Could leave the car unlocked, parked out front in the street. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. to say there wasn't some crime, but not really. Never not had a problem. Today. Never had right. a problem. So it seems to me the Russians are doing something right. If we're honest about it, our society is obviously doing something wrong. But look back at that. that and yet we demonize them. Just like we demonized the former Soviet Union when they were our political enemy. Well, that cartoon came out in 1948. So it was just after World War II, mm -hmm. heading into the 1950s. What came after that? McCarthyism, right? Uh, some would argue today that the Joseph McCarthy was, uh, was closer to the mark than, than some people think that there were more, that there were communists, right. And that it was something of a threat. It depends on your point of view. Well, we definitely had Soviet spies inside yeah. the American government. I don't think there's ever anything we did during the cold war that the Soviets didn't see coming. They knew our every move before we made it. They knew we were going to do the Bay of Pigs. They warned Castro mm -hmm. about that. We never were able to sneak up on them. Okay. Your government might tell you, oh, we had this victory and that victory in the 
in the Cold War and they love Cold War spy tales. There are thousands of books and documentaries of good Cold War spy tales. But are they really true? And there were victories on both sides in the spy craft game. But believe me, we might have thought we were fooling the Soviets, but we were not. They had spies all up in our government. So, yes, on that, McCarthy was correct. Yeah, He wasn't correct to destroy people's lives because they right. might happen to be a communist. Mm -hmm. I mean, shouldn't that be their right? If they want to belong to the Communist Party, this is in a free a country, is it not? If they want to go right. rally and fly the Soviet flag or, or whatever, I mean, yeah. I'll die for their right to do just that. I've said many times that freedom is the Achilles heel of a free society because people who would seek to destroy our freedom will use the freedom we give them to do it. And then when they take it from us, they won't give us the same uh, consideration. I've, I'm afraid that's what we're starting to go through right now. But it still brings me back to the... Uh, to my ongoing perpetual question. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I, am I being realistic? Have I been indoctrinated? Is my worldview distorting my reality? And what about these people that I think are nuts? Maybe they're not nuts. Maybe I'm the one who's nuts. How do you really know? А кто Берлин то взял штурмом? Американцы что ли? Англичане или французы? Красная армия. Подзабыли? А кто Берлин-то взял штурмом? Американцы, что ли? Англичане или французы? Красная армия. Подзабыли? Подзабыли? 